I got to work with some key people and they spoke up for me too. And two of them was Kevin Nash and Undertaker. Uh, I worked Taker. We had a hell of a match one night on Raw and uh, he come back and thanked me and said, we're going to do some more stuff together. And uh, I started riding with him and Paul and then, you know, Yoko and Rakishi and then Godfather came and Tex came and Savio and that's how the BSK started. Yeah, that's the the Bone Street Crew. What does that stand for? Uh, We used to play dominoes to kill time. So one night we were going in this club and uh, we walk in and uh, Yoko yells, BSK in the house, bitches. And that's how it all started. So I guess you got along with The Undertaker right away then. Right away. Yeah. Him and Paul. And, uh, you know, I was riding with double J up there and road dog. And then I started riding with taker and Paul and I was like, it, it was great riding with them. Yeah. We had some good times and we all, everybody in the BSK just clicked. I mean, it was, it was perfect. So you guys would hang out backstage and when you would go uh, out partying, you'd go out together pretty much. Yeah, me and Tex, when I roomed with Yoko a lot because I drove him, you know, uh, around a lot and we spent a lot of time together. And uh, then Phineas came up and, of course, me and Phineas always roomed together. Hell, we do a signing now. We only get one room just so we can spend time together, tell old stories. There's a fan on here that wants to know who won the most at Domino's. Uh, probably Yoko, Godfather. And uh, someone else wants to know how much money would BSK drop at the, at a strip club? I, I can't see you guys buying too many dances. No, I didn't have to buy too many dances. Uh, bought a lot of drinks. Uh, but <clears throat> that was our thing. We tried to go out to clubs. Uh, but you know, when you go out to them big, especially like a Western club, country Western club, uh, you get people that want to drink in that courage and want to test you. So <clears throat> when we're done working, you know, we want to go chill. So we would all take her, would take us to the strip clubs. We knew all of them and knew everybody, same city, same club. So we felt at home there. Like we weren't, threatened and we could just relax and get our backs in the corner and just watch the show. Since I live uh, pretty close to Quebec, I find the strip clubs there are pretty good. What did you think about Quebec strip clubs? Loved them. Uh, Montreal was probably my favorite. Yeah, there's probably multiple reasons for that, I imagine. Yeah, I got I got pictures at home of me and Paul Bear at the Gold Club in Montreal. Did you have any issues with the clique or were you pretty protected being with the Undertaker's BSK group? But I didn't have any troubles with anybody. Uh, you know, there was supposed to be uh, people try to make it out like, you know, we hated each other, but I know a few nights we all ended up at the same strip club together. So it was nothing like that. It was just, you know, they did their thing. We did ours and sometimes we did it together, but mostly it was just, uh, you know, the BSK was, we were, we were a family. We thought, you know, and, and, uh, going to Yoko's house and spending the weekend and being on the road and, you know, and, uh, been to Godfather's house, stayed at, Taker's house two or three times and me and uh tech me and Phineas went home with Sean one weekend and spent with it at San Antonio at his house. As far as the Undertaker's retirement, how did you feel about being part of that ceremony? Oh, that was awesome. I was <clears throat> actually when I got the call, I was in Tennessee visiting uh my son and uh Pritchard, Bruce Pritchard called and said, Hey, how you doing? I hadn't talked to him in 
a while. And I said, doing good. He goes, well, we're having this thing in Survivor Series for Undertaker's Farewell. And he wants the BSK there. I said, okay, send me the ticket. I'm on my way. <laughs> what was it like? I know there was no fans there, but what was it like being backstage? It, it felt good to, to be with all the boys. You know, uh, <clears throat> we had a room. It's funny. We had, there was two dressing rooms upstairs. The click ended up in one and me and, Phineas and Rakishi, Savio, and Godfather, when they, we were all together in one dressing room. But just to be with them guys and everybody. I mean, me and Hunter got to visit for like 35 minutes uh, prior to the show, and uh, it was good talking to him. Uh, but after the show, or before the show, the night before is when – the BSK reunion took, uh, took place. And I told on a podcast earlier that, uh, you know, it'd been 21 years since we'd all been together at one time. Uh, but man, we made up for 21 years that night. Uh, the manager of the bar said we killed four bottles of Jack and over a hundred beers between like seven of us, eight of us. So, uh, Undertaker and Godfather had to put me and Phineas to bed. So, uh, it was a rough morning the next morning. Yeah, I can imagine. Do you think this is going to be his real retirement or the way things are going? Do you think he's going to be offered something that he can't refuse again in another couple of years? I could see that happening and I could see him probably doing it. 